Hey, it's Chris again. Just uh, giving you an update. Um, I had been painting the uh, engine bay. Uh, I'm going to repaint the whole car, so I'm not too picky about uh, the paint right now getting messy on the outside of the car. But I did want the engine bay to look good, so um, what I used was this right here um, Duple Color Bed Armor, and uh, I did a coat of this roll bar chassis uh, it is a uh, satin black I did that first wasn't crazy about the way it looked by itself um, and I wanted to cover up some imperfections so um, I ended up going over it with this uh, and you can kind of see it's got kind of a nice uh, textured effect sorry for the dirt here shops a little dusty We've got some wind blowing through here there you go. Looks pretty good. Um, masked off everything as best I can without completely dissembling the car. But I used some foil to wrap over things I didn't want to paint. So most of the stuff's going to be buried. It's not going to be a big deal. One thing I did notice and I was going to give you guys a heads up on is uh, my passenger side motor mount right here. Uh, show you the old one. This is leaking fluid. Um, dripping goo out of the bottom like a, a hydraulic fluid so ended up having to order a new one and I would not have noticed that had I not taken this off to paint so got a new one from Toyota um, and uh, actually I got that from Monkey Wrench Racing and uh, it's about 130 140 bucks but um, it's important that you get a new one if yours is leaking um, might be a good idea to replace it if you got like mine had 120,000 miles on it so uh, definitely wouldn't want to have to go through there and do it again uh, pull everything apart it's a pain in the butt job so while you're in there check that out and uh, should be getting the uh, the motor in here pretty quickly uh, I got the clutch in um, got the uh, sandwich plate down there got this giant bulky uh, oil pressure sensor that everybody tells me I should replace with a smaller one, but, no, but uh, nobody's going to see it, so I don't really care. Um, did this little fabrication on the throttle cable here because uh, uh, there was really no means to connect the throttle cable. So uh, I've made a little video showing how this was made, but here it is again. And uh, this is the bracket that came off of the 1ZZ. Um, really know where to mount it so I just made a little L bracket here you can kind of see the shape of it and uh, bolted it to the intake um, and uh, looks like it should uh, should line up pretty good I did a little test with a zip tie to see if it lines up and uh, seems to be pretty uh, straightforward about the right distance so hopefully it works Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated and hopefully uh, my next video will be putting this uh, bad boy in this car.